it's actually a big absurd that I'm on this stage because I came to, to, to talk about comfort, but getting on this stage means that you are um, outside your comfort zone. And I'm very stressed. My stress started last Sunday, and I understood that I don't have a story. I have just this term comfort. And then I started to write something and uh, making presentation and, and reading. And this week I spent uh, almost every, every day, I, I tried to, to wake up 5 a.m. To, to get prepared for this event. And it doesn't uh, work somehow. Uh, even today, I came here, I said, uh, Inese, we came together, that I'm in very big stress. And this morning, again, I tried to wake up at 5 a.m., but it doesn't work. I started to, to do things with my dog together, not to, prepare, not to get prepared for this event. But, um, yes, speaking about stress, some three uh, tricks you can use before exams or big events. First of all, use your favorite per perfume. And, and if you are in stress, try to smell yourself. This is one trick. The, the second one is uh, drink water. It helps very much. Uh, swallowing water helps us to release our voice. And, and the last uh, trick is uh, use cold tap water on those places. Just... Uh, it also helps us. So I used today all those three tricks to be here on this stage. Last century or last decades, uh, we are pushed uh, thinking outside of uh, the box. And I'm not pretty sure that this is good strategy uh, because our thinking and mechanisms, how we are thinking, are very different. The first speaker told us that we are stars. Every single we are a star, but very different stars. And uh, probably you have been in classes or, or, or brainstorm sessions where you sh should to think outside the box right now. Now we, it will be very funny. We will think and brainstorming and blah. blah. I, I don't, I'm not sure that it's really works because we are so different. We are thinking different in different times. We need, we have good and ba bad days. This is one aspect. And the second one, we are pushed uh, last years to step out of the comfort zone. The marvelous life is outside the comfort zone. Uh, the true is outside the comfort zone. And uh, five years ago, I was one of those evangelists who said, get out of the comfort zone because the truth is outside there. I was running business incubator in Lepaya. And then t hundreds of students and, and also serious business, businessmen I teach that uh, the true, uh, the real truth is outside the comfort zone. And uh, yes, five years ago, I strongly believed that. And uh, I believe that this is a key for success, uh, but I'm not sure right now after five years. And um, it's related with my very deep personal story, how I changed my life, totally moving from, from Liepāja to Cēsis. Those who are not from uh, Latvia, Liepāja is a wonderful beach city. Um, yes, and, and Cēsis is one small town in Vidzeme. And uh, yes, uh, so, and my, my, my journey to Cēsis started, it was uh, five years ago, 2018, when I got a call, uh, unknown call. It, it was a Friday evening. I was uh, waiting for a, a Finnish delegation in business incubator, and this unknown number was calling, and I thought that it's like a leader from this group that they are, that, um, yes, they are like managing some things. No, it was a call from Cesis uh, city or town. And, um, and there was a lady who said, uh, we have such position. 
would you be interested to, 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 to come to Cesis, to job interview? The position was head of uh, development and uh, construction uh, department. And first I said, no, like I don't have a time. Uh, and, and no, I, I'm not interested. But then uh, somehow uh, during the presentations uh, for, for this Finnish delegation, all the time I, I was thinking, what was this call? And then I called back after that and uh, we had a little bit um, longer conversation about this position. And I said, no, it's not for me, it's a thesis. I, I, I have a good job uh, in, in Liepaja. I have friends there. My family is living there. Summer is coming and Liepaja in summer, it's a beautiful. I'm living uh, next uh, to the concert hall, uh, which is marvelous concert hall with marvelous concerts. And no, I'm not ready exactly go to go to go go to Thesis. But then I spend all weekend to negotiating with myself and uh, and, uh, and trying to 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 get an answer and then uh, putting pluses and minuses and. Um, and then uh, somehow I submitted my documents on Monday. Then I went to job interview and I had a marvelous feeling. Like it was like good job interview, the best job interview I have uh, ever had. And, and the feeling about the town, about the management, about the governance, uh, it took me in, like in the next level. So, and then uh, um, after three days, I got this uh, unknown number call and they said that they are hiring me. And really deeply, I, I hope uh, before this call that they will uh, choose someone else, not me. And then I asked 24 hours uh, to, to think about uh, this. And, um, and then I started to speak to think about salary, it's uh, lower in Cesis than I have in Liepaja. I have also um, classes at uh, university. I, at that time I, I was also a researcher at university, university and, and everything will change in my friends and family and then again, again. So in uh, 24 hours, this uh, phone was calling again. And before I picked up, I didn't know the answer. And in 15 seconds, I said yes. So this was totally irrational decision of my life. It changed everything in my life. And uh, it, so I started to somehow to, to deal with moving. It's not very easy in Latvia to move from one side to another side of the country, uh, especially to get a, an apartment or living space in, in Cessis, it's very difficult. Two weeks before uh, moving, I didn't have a place where to live. Uh, I remember the time sitting in Italy. I was a uh, little vocation and uh, in Italy, in the train station, I got a um, message that the apartment who I arranged, they, that they, uh, they are not interested anymore uh, and so on. So on, on one train, we're passing through the, the train station. That <laughs> And the feeling was my life is who is passing like that. So, uh, yes, and um, then I moved. My, uh, and it was very interesting because I moved on uh, Saturday. And that day uh, was international competition uh, for drones. So, and I got the call and uh, uh, to, to be a ju jury member of this drone competition. I don't understand anything from drones, but I said, yes, okay, fun. And then the drones are, and you should mark some points to put some points in. So, and uh, my working day started on Monday. I prepared uh, a cake, the most expensive cake in my life. I bought, I didn't know that it's so expensive in Celsius. You can get such expensive cakes. I uh, bought a wine, I bought a whiskey, and I thought that there will be a big, fun, welcoming party from my department colleagues. It didn't happen. Uh, after that, I drank my wine and whiskey two months uh, in, in my office. 
and uh, this was like very awkward party. No one wanted to speak with me really. And uh, I was like in police, they asked some questions and, and that's it. So my, uh, my job started and, um, and I didn't have any warm up time. I made Plank imme immediately uh, because I started to participate in meetings. I didn't understand what they are talking about. I didn't know the streets, uh, what they are talking about. Mm, uh, my department was responsible for project submission. And Ines already said that a couple of weeks we opened uh, Education Space Center in CESIS. So the project submission was the second week of my work in CESIS. So I had a lack of um, project managers who, um, and coordinators who can implement projects and also how to prepare new ones. It was super hard time. And what else? Uh, in my department, uh, I was responsible also for construction board. Construction board is units in municipalities who gives permission to start a building or permission to, to just the building process. And uh, previous in my life, I, I had some experience in project uh, uh, management where we are s some things building, but now I should to deal with those experts in this construction board about a wall and building code of Latvia. And uh, that time I remember that I learned to, to, to read different laws, to get prepared to that conversations. And because of course I'm not very good partner for, the, for them, but still I'm department, uh, head of department and, and I should be uh, um, like not very strong, but, but, but uh, yes, uh, I should to know and I should to understand how to argue with them. So, and uh, the stress level was en enormous and uh, it was five years ago, it was at the end of October, no beginning of November, when I woke up one night, I, my back was cold from the stress and uh, the stress uh, reason was um, uh, the biggest uh, municipal, um, uh, the biggest event for business companies. It's, we call it uh, CESIS Business Forum, and I was responsible for that organization. I manage everything, uh, like lecturers, uh, I don't know, prizes for entrepreneurs, uh, catering, and, and so on and so on. And uh, I didn't have really experience how it worked years before, because uh, for local society, it's a big event with big expectations, and I'm newcomer, and I don't understand uh, how to how to how to uh, talk with local businessmen and business companies. And then, when one uh, one colleague from another department he said, "At this, everything will be okay. We will help you." And now, uh, this colleague is very good friend of of me, and it's very important to find in your life one person who can tell you that everything will be okay. Not person who, who, who will say, oh, th there are many risks, I don't know, I don't know. Please help one person who, 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 who is telling you everything will be okay. And then, uh, yes, autumn. I moved to Cesis uh, uh, August. Uh, it still was uh, full of tourists in this marvelous old town. And then came autumn. And uh, I understood that I'm uh, totally alone. All my family, all my friends are some 300 kilometers away in Liepāja. So, and uh, this was an uh, enormous struggle, how to manage that. And, uh, and uh, I found uh, my magic pills. It was work, 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 work. And then I uh, uh, just, all I, I, I done uh, was, uh, was, uh, was uh, working and I decided to make decision on the spring. Uh, so big stress, very lonely uh, feeling. And then I, yes, I, I thought I should to, to survive this winter and in Celsius winter is a little bit different as in beachside Lepai. And then um, um, on the spring I got, uh, some, some, some new position. I became a head of uh, city administration. Uh, two years I worked 
as a, a, I don't know, as an elephant or dog or whatever. Uh, the first challenge was how to, how to pay a salary for hundreds of employees of municipality because the accountant was uh, sick and uh, a lot of uh, stressful, I still, I still have a trauma because, because I can't, I, I, I have a trauma uh, from our um, document management system and I have a trauma for signing documents because every single day, two years, I signed a hundreds of documents, thousands of documents, all money uh, and all invoices went uh, out through my, my hands. So, and um, work uh, really helped. And then uh, uh, 2021 was uh, elections and I was elected as, as a deputy and became a vice mayor. So, uh, some lessons. Um, Mm, do I recommend to all people uh, today uh, to, to, after these five years, to, 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 to get out of the comfort zone? No, but, the w <laughs> but what I recommend is uh, being yourself and find your, uh, not turns, but uh, yes, turns, and find yourself. We are very, very different, and it's also related with uh, creativity. Uh, creativity is, uh, uh, it's only, how to say, it's a thinking technique, nothing more. And uh, find what, what helps you uh, most. For me, it's morning shower. I think a lot of in the morning shower. And this morning was funny because the cold water wasn't. So I didn't, I, 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 I guess uh, there were some issues. But uh, for, for some, it's sport. For some, it's walking. For some, it's, I don't know, something else. For me, it's morning and shower. All uh, things I solve, it's mo in the morning shower. Um, one more thing. Yes, morning shower. Wait. Morning shower. Ah, and one more thing. Uh, if you can't solve some issues or some problems, give a time for your brains. It, it helps very much. Uh, time is, 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 the, is the right key. And one more thing where I, uh, where I find my solutions are my dreams. My colleagues and friends know that uh, my dreams are epic. And uh, this is one of my dreams theory of three waves. I, I was uh, flying somewhere and then I woke up in the plane and, and I understood I have three wave theory. And this theory is saying that in life we have three waves. First one, desire. The second one, des decision. And, and the third is acting. So something to want, then make a decision and then act. And uh, what's happening when the wave uh, is going outside the, the coast? What's happening? It's going back, right? So uh, I wish you to, to, to think and to decide and to act and to make decisions when you stay strong on your board. Thank you very much.